Right, now we're going to look at circle Daoshi. This is a much more realistic Daoshi that you might see uh, in actual competition or actual Hondori. And that's why we buy these videos, right? So we can throw our friends. <laughs> so, about ready versus ready, I'm going to circle toward my opponent as if I'm doing an Asura Gari, right? And I'm going to bring my opponent towards me, and we're going to circle, right? In sort of a clockwise fashion. Okay, and the weight comes off of this leg, and I'm always going to look to sweep the trailing leg. Also, really important, advantage position. I always talk about this, right? If you're doing judo and you're kind of here 50-50, right? You going here may be a setup for my opponent going to side. Okay, yes, I'm going to go circle the ashi, but maybe I'm going in this direction. He goes to the side at the same time. Whoops, right? That could potentially happen. I can neutralize this. If I have the hand higher than my opponent, as I'm going in for an attack, if he goes to side, the likelihood of him throwing me is a lot less because he controlled my upper body less. Right? He has less control of my upper body, therefore he's a lot less likely to succeed in the society that he's used to attack. But we're going to look at the Asha now, so I'm digressing a little bit. I step, I step around, and the person comes with me, okay? The weight comes off of this front leg. One, two, there's my foot sweep. All right? Step, step, the Asha. One, two, foot sweep. Okay? Right now, not going anywhere. Step, weight comes off of this leg. There's my timing for that foot sweep. And I'm going to bring this leg across this other person's leg, and I'm going to use my arm to turn, just like how we talked about. Or I can elevate him using both arms and then take that leg from underneath him, right? So I'm going to do a nice simple deashi with uh, using this sort of a finish. One, two, deashi. Right? Simple deashi. Well, I can elevate my opponent using my arms and go for sort of a kuriyashi garai where I knock out both the legs out from underneath him. Boom. Okay, it's important. I have an advantage. Circle. We. A little bit of a elevated circle deashi situation in a right side versus right side setting, right? So that's a nice, nice deashi to be able to learn. And then the next thing we're going to do is the same concept, circle deashi in a right versus left setting. All right, we're going to do circle deashi right versus left now, okay? Very, very similar idea. We're going to talk a little bit about advantages again, right? Inside configuration, outside configuration, sleeve and sleeve, no advantages here. I have an advantage here now. Okay, I have a strong post, right? A nice little frame here. I can post on the chin, right? I can bring my elbow in the game. Position of his arm is a little bit compromised. I have a nice post, so I can easily bring and push and pull. Now I have a better position, right? Same idea. I want to step around and create this circular movement so the trail leg the is available to me. But if I don't have an advantage, let's just say zero advantages here, he's holding on tight, and he has my shoulder turn. If I step around him to circle him, right, he's going to blast Uchimani. Right? I'm climbing onto this hip throw. Right, so I turn ah, right? It's not going to be good for me at all. Right? It's going to cause a lot of trouble for me. So it's very, very important that I'm winning this battle first. Here. Battle one, battle two, shoulder turn. Okay? Now I can step circle, and then there's my foot sweep to the back leg, right? the trailing leg, right? always the trailing leg, right? One more time, advantage, step, circle, dash, right? It's important to note when you're going for dash that you don't commit yourself and take yourself off the center axis because if I lose my balance, I need to take my foot and catch myself, okay? I need to bring the leg across as far as I can without committing and throwing my body down to the side. The goal is to take his balance, while keeping my balance, right? If that sort of equation gets skewed or destructed, then the technique is not there anymore, right? Because I need to use my other leg to stand up, right? Okay? So, right versus left. Advantage, step, circle, yeah. Okay? Nice and simple. Stepping, circling, foot sweep. Of course, this is one of those techniques too that is very timing oriented. A lot of the times I have an advantage, I snap, circle, don't get it, I have to go in to something else, snap to the person, they can toshi, adjust it to position, 
Throw on the soil, right? Stuff on it, right? Whoops, there's my mistake. Maybe, maybe. The timing is perfect, right? But the important thing is you go for it, you miss, and you go for something else, right? Even if you're not successful at getting the first initial day, actually, whoop, right? There's a little bit of an off balancing element there. Now I can go in to my next power organization. Right? Using timing first, then power. Because right? you can't really force anything uh, if you are off balance. Right? So that's my second installation of the right versus left circle the ashi. 